Another enhancement is to go ahead and migrate uh, colors or materials during a Boolean operation, like sp specifically Boolean subtract. So here we have two solids, and those solids have no materials other than using the standard 64 color palette. So a simple subtract, and the colors behave as I expected. The color is not transferred or the material is not transferred. If you do want the materials to be transferred, you will be using the materials attributes. Let's go ahead and make sure we're going to change this solid here. You can see it's changed. I do the subtract again. And now those colors were my material colors were migrated over during the subtraction operation. A little more complex. In the previous example, I had the color set or the material set to entire solid. Here I have it set to individual faces. Again, the same thing will happen. The material colors will go ahead and get transferred. And you can see inside the block the material colors have been transferred. This change that we made here also applies now to sheet bodies, or some people call them trim sheets. Um, you can do the Boolean subtract using the trim sheets as well with this new uh, modification. But before you do that, there's a few things you have to set up or make sure are set. For example, as stated in my presentation, you have to go to Tools Maintenance, change sheet sidedness to be one sided. You select the uh, sheet body, nothing will happen, or nothing appears to happen. Go back to the Tools Maintenance, modify your normals, and you're going to re specify that you want to re reverse the sheet body normals. When I select this sheet body, it shows you which way the normals are going and now it's going to ask you for which sheet body do you want to have flipped so I'm going to say if I want to keep the bottom I'm going to reverse the normals on that sheet body they're pointing down and now I can go ahead and do a boolean subtract and I've been able to transfer the colors from the sheet body or trim sheet to the solid